Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens. A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. So the letter was supposed to say how much I'm grateful for you. I was going to see you guys. Vanessa, you have changed my life so much. I've never have met a person as charming, loving, patient, and of course, positive and strong. We've been through the longest and hardest year of our life. Last year, through the kids, through the businesses, planning a wedding, that was not easy. And I always wanted to give up, and you never did. So I'm glad that we are standing here today, and I love you, and I'll forever will. Grade six came, and we're in the same class. Yay, finally. We had a musical that year. It was called Send in the Clowns. Remember that, Ken? I was in the choir, and Ken was in the play. Ken had no problems being cast. He was a clown then, and not much has changed. All kidding aside, Ken, we've been through a lot together, and I'm honored you chose me to be your best man. Best friends are like family, and Ken, you'll always be my brother. Ken and Vanessa, I wish you both a lifetime of adventures, happiness, love, and laughter. Love you guys. Cheers. So, Ken, I love you. I welcome you into our family, even though you've been in our family for a while. I am going to let you and Vanessa know that I look forward to sharing your journey with you and standing beside you both. By the power invested in me by the province of Manitoba, and I pronounce you the husband and wife. Ken, kiss your bride. Thank you.